Hello, dear friends. So today, uh, let's talk about finding the research gaps uh, in the literature. So whenever you are going to start a, a research project, you obviously going to uh, find some research topic, some research area. And in that research topic and research area, then you will narrow down to some research problem and will create a research question. But that research question actually is a combination of few things and you have to find the research gap in that way as well. So how do we create a research question? There's a, a very common formula in the scientific literature and that formula is called as a PICO. And it's uh, PICO is actually consists of four words actually. There are four domains in which we actually create a research question and that four domains are your population, intervention, control and outcome that constitutes a PICO. Well, I'm not going into detail of that research question. Uh, you can find the PICO research question videos on my channel and you can uh, actually learn the details about formulating a PICO research question. But uh, today I'll talk about research gaps actually. Uh, and in the same way, there are many kinds of actually research gaps that we actually look into when we are going to search for a topic for a research question. And uh, that uh, research gaps in, in a very simple way, there are many 8 to 10 types of the research gaps have been moved, but a very uh, convenient and simple formula for research gap is also the same as that research question. That's called as a PICO gap. That means in the same four domains, uh, we will look for a gap in the literature regarding some topic and then we will do our own literature review on that gap and we'll either try to uh, conduct a, our own uh, primary research related to that gap or we can do a secondary research. So what is a PICO gap? So PICO gap, again, it consists of four dimensions, that's population, intervention, control, or comparison, and outcome. Another thing is knowledge gap, and there are some others as well. So how to understand this formula? That when you are actually doing a literature review on certain topic, say for example, your topic uh, is on malarial prevention or malarial treatment or it could be related to say for example diabetes mellitus and some treatment and you are looking for a gap in the treatment or looking at gap in the research in the prevention of diabetes and so where will you start from so first uh, in the gap look at this population in the available literature in the published literature search for this population first thing what do I mean by population? I mean that when you are reading the different studies, uh, obviously you will read some of the papers, some top influential papers on that domain, say for example, it's on a prevention of diabetes, and you will see that is that domain is addressed well, or there is any evidence missing, or the evidence is poor or weaker, or it is missing in some part related to that population. So you can uh, uh, make your study you can design your study to answer that gap say for example you studied some papers like 10 20 50 20 papers uh, and you uh, by population i mean that could be anything say for example you come across a study uh, like i'm in pakistan so i saw that in terms of prevention there are very few studies that have studied the this population concern in diabetes prevention Say for example, there could be studies from Pakistan on only adult population and adult population say for example above 40 years. So I see that there are very rare studies on uh, diabetes pre prevention uh, in the young adults or even children and there are no studies, a very, uh, 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 no less number of studies on pediatric populations or young population. So that is a gap in literature that I can now design a question to work on a study related to prevention in adult young adult population or in pediatric population that population or there is a many studies uh, on some topics say for example there are only studies from European and American populations but there are not uh, much studies in from Asian population like, like you are in Asian countries like in India Pakistan and China so that is a gap you can if you are residing in India or in uh, Japan or in Chinese China so you can actually uh, look that certain problem in your population and say for example a problem is only looked into in a pediatric population but you in a practice see that that disease or disorder occurs in adults as well. So you see okay there are not much studies related to that topic in adult population so you can design uh, your study with regard to adult population. 
this is how you can uh, you know get an idea regarding that is there any uh, gap in the population related to some topic then second domain is i that's intervention again you're working on a literature review on certain topic and a certain parameter of a, uh, that topic and you can look for the gap in intervention say for example uh, in the treatment of diabetes or in treatment of certain cancers you can say that what kind of inter by intervention i mean both things it could be intervention could be a treatment modality it could be a medical or surgical treatment it could be a procedure or it could be a diagnostic test that you can say okay a particular test say for example is there are not much studies on a certain certain diagnostic tool or you can say uh, that a certain treatment uh, that has been effective in few studies but there are not much studies on that treatment so that is a gap in intervention so you can look into that in your studies the third thing is control a comparison and similarly you see that you are working on a paper and you are looking at the literature and you have seen that you certain treatments have been compared certain modalities of diagnosis have been compared and you see that there are some studies are more study in which there is no comparison group there are say for example studies are done on only hospitalized patients our studies are only done in say for example icu patients and the outcomes are poor or outcomes are better but now you want to uh, see the effect of that drug on the patients in the from outpatient department or if certain treatment has shown some poor effects in those patients which are in icu so obviously the critical patient now you see to wish to see the effects of that drug in those patients that are inpatient that are not so much severely ill you can see that whether that that you want to see that does that drug works well in those patients that are inpatient they are not much severely ill as compared to icu patient it could be comparison or you can say that in a certain study even no comparison or control group have been studied there could be in a study in which a certain drug was found useful but that study had not included a comparison or control group so obviously there will be a bias so you can design a study with control group in that particular scenario to see that how much is the difference between a healthier population or uh, disease population or two different kinds of population now another thing that is an outcome you can uh, outcome by by my outcome i mean results and you can say that where are any discrepancies uh, related to results in literature to outcomes of a literature it could be outcome of a drug it could be outcome of a procedure or it could be outcome like a length of hospital stay in icu stay or such things uh it will be long term and short term uh, outcomes like a 190 180 days mortalities uh, it could be like th- six month mortality two years mortality so you can see that in a drug that has only see the say for example mortality over 90 days or um, mortality over just uh, uh, 30 days so you can actually do another study and you can see the survival or outcome or mortality say for example for one year six months or uh, in such so it could be like that you can see that is there any discrepancy or any gap in addressing certain outcome that you can actually use as a principle or foundation of your research topic so and another thing that i added in this list is the knowledge gap by knowledge gap i mean that it could be a research area that has not been studied extensively or there are very less studies overall or it could be a very less studies or there are no any studies in on a particular set of topic in say for example in a particular region the where you are practicing and working and you can see okay okay this topic or uh, this problem has not been addressed in this part of the world or this part of your country and you can look into that problem so uh, that brings actually a knowledge gap or uh, any disease study disorder or the theme that has been less studied uh, that you think is important or uh, you found it important or an essential uh, in your practice and there are not studies so that is called as a knowledge gap that there is very less is known about some diseases like like we really, uh, usually read that uh, much is not known about this study the uh, mechanism of certain drugs or procedures are poorly understood so that means there is a knowledge gap there's not much knowledge available on that particular thing in the literature so you can actually plan your primary study take a large population and uh, try to find the answers of that question or you can actually review the literature to find the knowledge gap about that certain problem that why there is so much less knowledge on that particular theme here i will show you uh, one or two examples of the literature review sheets uh, that you can actually design 
while doing literature review so here one this is a one literature review table on certain problem or topic uh, this is the topic list you can actually find a excel sheet like that you can make your excel sheet for literature review here just write your topic and here in another table you can actually write the source and the title of the that topic and obviously you will find the summaries and key points of key point table of each study on the left side there will be studies actually multiple studies say for example 10 20 studies whatever those are but on here you can actually add one column of research gap while uh, on your uh, excel sheet when you are doing a literature review to find any topic uh, or any research problem in gaps say for example this for the one study this is for another second study that we have been following in the rows and in the gaps say for example in this column it is written that age group selected that it could be in a study in this row and we have collected different points of those studies points sources and in get column we after reading that paper we say okay in this particular paper there was an age group problem age or you can say it's a population uh, you know gap was found another like in this it says that primarily targeted age group was school children so it could be you a research paper related to the topic that you have been following and then you found a gap that uh, in the search in that paper only say for example only school children were uh, studied for a certain problem so obviously you can uh, work for that same problem in uh, older children or in young adults or older adults and then other study in which the gap is found that it gives a prevalence but does not talk in relation to factors causing obesity so it could be a paper from obesity that you found that okay it's talking about prevalence but it is not uh, talking much on the factors that causing obesity here it could be uh, like uh, knowledge gap uh, another excel sheet that i will discuss here another literature review tool say on the left side we have got these multiple papers okay these are multiple papers say for example these are these are sources of the paper these are titles of study there are three studies and you collected the data about those studies about the authors and what you found in those three studies and in the column of the gaps say for example these were the study types that each paper what kind of study it was it was called cohort could be cohort study it could be an systematic review and here the literature gaps that what in literature gaps was found for each study here say for example in this column they row they say that there's a methodology gap and population gap since the focus in Israeli defense records so it could be any study that in which there was could be certain method gap and also there was a they say there was a population gap was, uh, was found in that study by population gap it's clearly said that that study was done on Israeli defense records uh, it could be some problem so it could you can uh, take it to the multinational level or uh, you can do that problem on US study there is another uh, paper that it says that population gap knowledge gap so it is could be a study in which they found both the population gap and knowledge gap and see they written that due to less literature another thing another paper in which the what gap did the students found it was literal knowledge gap and no direct study of these things okay so uh, it could be uh, anything like that so in this way you can actually design your literature review and try to find these common types of the uh, gaps though the, this list is not exhaustive there are many other kinds of research uh, gaps but these are the common things that we usually look in studies so you can plan your literature review like that and try to find these kind of research gaps and plan your studies on one of those gaps i hope that this video uh, will help you in your future research projects thank you